Hey everybody, happy Friday. Lisa Pizik, business and wellness coach. And I want to talk to you about one change in your word. Just one word change that's going to rock your whole world and change the way that you talk to yourself. Change the way that you view your day. Change the way that you do things when you're pushing towards a health or a business goal. Now, when motivation wouldn't hit me and I wouldn't take any action or I started looking at things in my life as like wins or losses, all or nothing, good or bad, which is not a great way to think about your life and the changes that you're trying to make because sometimes things go great, sometimes things go terrible, sometimes your day goes to plan, sometimes your day does not go to plan. And I used to always ask myself, why? Because we've been trained that way. We've been trained to ask, you know, five whys deep. Like, why is this happening? You ask yourself five times and you'll get to the root of it. And we've been throwing around why, why, why. And I don't think that's the right word. I don't think it's right to say, why am I hitting snooze so much and not getting up and attacking the day? I think a better question is, what? What can I accomplish? if I get up and I attack the day and I don't snooze? What am I missing out on when I decide to make the choice to stay in bed and not get up and attack the day? I think those are much more deeper guiding questions that can get to the root of the problems or things that are going on in our life that we wanna fix. You know, I don't think it's why am I afraid to reach out to that person in business or make that phone call. I think it's, what do I have to gain by taking that courageous step? What do I have to lose by not taking that step and calling that person? So I really think that simple flip of using the word what instead of why can get to the root of a lot of things for you. And I think if you're a coach and you're coaching people, I think again, even in parenting, when you're asking your kids the question, I think what is so much better because a lot of times people don't know why. Like I think about my four-year-old and I'm like, why are you acting like that? He doesn't know why he's acting like that. He's just reacting to something, right? Or, you know, you ask a challenging question, why are you making those choices? Um, it kind of sounds condescending a little bit, right? It doesn't sound like you have their best interest at hand as opposed to when you're like, what? And you ask, what about it? And what develops a dialogue Whereas why sometimes stops people because a lot of people don't know why. They don't tie it to something from their past that's happened to them and that's impacted them. They don't tie it to the way that they're feeling or those emotions that they have right away. When you engage in the dialogue and you ask what, it helps you personally either get there if you're journaling or you're thinking or you're writing or it helps you be a better coach. It helps you be a better business owner. It helps you serve other people better. It helps you be a better parent or any of that when you start to ask the question what instead of why. So just wanted to come on live with that quick thought, that quick switch. I want you to practice it this weekend. If, if you find yourself in your head saying why, 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 change it to what, what, what and see what comes up for you. If you have the ability to coach people this weekend, again, instead of asking them why, ask what. And I think it's gonna move the needle forward in your health, in your business, and in your life. So happy Friday. Do that little flip of that word. Let me know how it goes. Post it below, and I'll see you again next week. Make it an amazing, amazing, heartfelt weekend with your family and friends and the people that you love. Go out and do big things. I know you're capable. I'll talk to you later. Bye.